it's a uh, quiet morning here in, I guess it's uh, mid to late April. I'm on my beaver pond right in front of the house. Betty and Bucky 2024. <laughs> they just moved in. So they've got the dam all built up. So I'm going to be fairly quiet. I don't want to disturb them. But today I want to go over paddles. Um, how to choose the right paddle. Length, size, type, that kind of thing, right? So I'm just backing across the pond here to um, a nice little sheltered spot. And we'll go through some stuff. There's a few wood ducks out here too. Um, a few wood ducks, a few mergensers, and there's uh, definitely uh, one drake mallard. So that's kind of cool. Now we're going to a spot where one of the beavers likes to have his uh, breakfast, I guess. It's beautiful out. You can hear the bullfrogs starting up. This is an old fiberglass canoe. She's a beater. I call it the muskrat because it's only used on this pond. It's too damn heavy to take anywhere else with you. You'd kill yourself carrying it. Okay, paddles. Obviously, paddles propel your boat. Um, well, you're doing the you're doing the work. A paddle is a big deal. Choosing the right paddle is a huge decision. What I'd highly recommend you do is you rent paddles first. Go to Algonquin Outfitters. Any outfitter store rents them. Just go and rent a paddle first. Figure out which one you like the best. There's so many different types, so many different variations. Um, I would highly recommend you rent them. Now, having said that, my preferred paddle is this one here. Now, this one's made, this particular one, doesn't matter the make, okay? This one's made by Teal. One thing I will say about paddles is try to buy one. That is made out of a solid piece of wood, not laminated, all right? Especially for tripping. Because if, if they're laminated, they can get minute uh, fissures in them, cracks. And if you're out there and you're tripping and that paddle splits, you're in huge trouble. Never, ever go tripping or canoeing without a second paddle. At least a second paddle. If you've got a, a person with you, so if you're going tandem, then please carry at least one spare. If you're going solo, carry one spare. Always, okay? Because you never know. You can bust a paddle in minutes. Now, this paddle's been with me for, hmm, I'd say 25 years. I just finished it. I just refinished it with this product by Badger Paddles. It's, it's an oil. It's not a, a varnish. It's the first time I've used it. So far, it works out great. Now, this paddle... This paddle here is called a beaver tail. You see the see the shape of it? Fitting for where I am right now, but this is my favorite style for big water. Okay, big water meaning lakes, uh, where the chop's gonna get up and you've gotta power through it. This has complete, it is controllable as hell. It'll push your boat. It's a beautiful paddle, okay? This beaver tail style paddle. The length of paddle. Here we go. There's all kinds of formulas. People will tell you spread your arms out and that's the length of the paddle. Some some will tell you to stand stand and put the paddle on the ground and it should come to the bottom of your chin. The paddle the paddle blade or hilt handle sitting on the ground either or should come to your chin. It's generalized. The reason is it's the type of canoe that you're in. If you're in a sports pal canoe or a or a Grumman canoe, you're sitting generally higher. You're gonna need a longer paddle. You're just you're gonna need a longer paddle. Um, do you kneel? I prefer to kneel. I do sort of a semi sit kneel deal. Um, so I like I prefer a long paddle. This paddle here is uh, 59 inches long. Okay. One very generalized way to do it is just hold your arms out like I'm doing right here. Hand on one side, right hand on the other. If your arms are straight out like this, it's a good size paddle. Okay. Uh, for me, I like the longer paddles because I like to draw deep. This hand will almost touch the gunnel when I'm paddling. 
it's just the way it works because it's not just drawing it's it's your stroke back okay so your stroke back we'll do this in a minute i don't want to move out of this nice little cove um but your stroke back is huge the further back you go on white water not white water okay white caps uh the more control you have because you can you can use it as a rudder the further back the paddle is, the better off the rudder. They make paddles like this. This one's made by Gray Owl Paddles. I bought this one for my son. This is more of a modified beaver tail. So I'm almost like an, I'd call it almost close to an otter tail paddle, right? This one is laminated, but it has a resin base to it. I don't know if you can see it. I think you can see that. This resin tip is uber important when you have a laminated paddle. Why? It prevents that splitting that I just spoke about, okay? This lamination also allows you, with caution, to jam this paddle into the, onto the um, bottom of the lake or pond or wherever you might be, a river, without too much worry about it splitting, okay? This paddle again is, uh, I believe, 59 to 60 inches. Okay, so it's 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 exact same length. Again, it allows me to draw back and give my uh, give my a lot of control to the boat. The other paddle I carry with me, I always take this one. Why? Uh, well, this is made by a, a. It's really a Canadian tire style paddle. Okay, in other words. It's not a tripping paddle at all. It's got a super wide blade. It'll wear you out. The more you paddle with something like this, the more water you're pushing. The water's not flowing around the blade as symmetrical as it could. The reason for these blades, the water flows around them so nicely. You can feel it. Your upper shoulders and your arms will start to get tired pretty quickly with a paddle like this. However, this paddle is a beast. Yes, it's laminated. Yes, it will split eventually one day. It'll start splitting from the top. But it's heavily fortified at the base here, you'll see. Heavily fortified, okay? With resin. I use this, to, you can tell. You can see where I've used jam into rocks and everything. I don't really care what happens to this paddle. It is, it causes, this paddle here is about, it'll run you about, nowadays it's going to run you 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Cheap for a paddle. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of money but it's cheap for a paddle, okay? I don't care what happens to this one. I'd rather break this one than break my tripping paddle. So this one here always goes with me. It sits on the side of the canoe. I can pull it out at any time I need to and jam it into the end of the pond bottom. This one's shorter. This one's a tad bit shorter. This one's 57 inches. Makes a difference. Why is it shorter? Because I don't need it for rudder control. I don't need it for control of the boat. I need it to use to jam into things and so I can control the boat when I'm pulling my way through a river, a shallow river. Remember, canoes can go through rivers, go through water bodies that are two inches deep. Two inches. Depending on the load that you've got in the canoe and depending on the type of canoe you have. They're an amazing craft. This thing's a piece of junk, but whatever. It's got a keel on it. I hate keeled boats. I don't like them. Leave these paddles at the dock. Seriously, don't bring them with you. This is a Canadian Tire Special, $29, whatever, $30. Bucks. Uh, yeah, it's good for doing whatever in front of the house or using it as a spare paddle for a skiff or something. But other than that, leave it home, okay? Um, spend good money. Get a good paddle. It's your propeller. You got to have a good propeller, okay? I recently retired from work and a good friend of mine at work uh, went out and purchased this paddle for me. Now this is made by Badger Paddles. It's sold by Algonquin Outfitters and other canoe uh, companies, but uh, this one's um, basically an otter tail. You see the difference between the two? There's quite the difference. Beaver tail, otter tail. The neat thing about these paddles that are shaped like this is that they cut the water beautifully. When you're, the strain on your arms is so much lessened and you're getting as much power because of the length of the wide part of the blade, okay? This one is shorter than what I normally purchase. 
This one is 57 inches. Remember my preferred length for open water is 59 to 60 inches. That's my preferred length. This one here I will use for calm water such as this. Rivers, ponds, which is, a, I, that's what I do a lot of. So this one's perfect. It'll give me lots of control. And I've already practiced out here with it. It controls the boat beautifully. Again, this one's 57 inches long. So I don't get the rudder control unless I lean way back, right, on heavy water. So that heavy water, meaning that I've got a heavy wind against me or whatever, this one would be stowed and I'd use my regular paddle, my normal paddle. Because you know what? Every inch gained on water like that is an inch gained. You don't want to lose it. So, yeah. So this one is made out of a wood called sassafras. It's solid wood, right? Flexible. All paddles are flexible. They're designed to be flexible. And yes, I've been on water where this paddle is actually bending to the point where it's going to break. You break a paddle and you don't have a spare, you're in trouble. This is a beautiful thing about the beaver tail and otter tail paddles. Look how smooth that just goes. Nice and easy. All right, we're just walking sideways. And you go into your long stroke. And you J. All right. Now this pond's shallow. So you see my, this paddle's way too long for a pond like this. So let's switch it up. And let's go for this nice badger paddle. There we go. See? That's the difference. I can get the whole blade in the water and my arms are comfy. Very, very comfy. And the J stroke just comes so nice. Oh my God, this paddle's beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Even with a keeled boat, I'm going straight. I mean, sorry. I have no problem controlling it. Look at this. This is a perfect paddle. See? Always carry paddles of different lengths. This one's 57. My preferred is 59 to 60. Oops, turtles. I better slow down. Here we go. Yeah, this paddle's beautiful. Oh, wow. We can... Yeah, this is nice.
and it's not as fluid in the water, not by any stretch of the imagination, not at all. So look at that, look at the, look at the ripples that's causing. Watch, there's the badger. Same thing, okay? So much easier. My God. There you go. See how much power I can get out of this. It's called a goonie stroke. I always use the goonie to get me going. And once I'm going, I go into the J, just like that. See that? <laughs> 